Hello everybody, welcome to an episode of Hearthstone. Last episode, we looked at Mechatoon Warlock. It was a pretty decent deck, allowing us to get a 60% win rate overall. This week, let us try Katoon Priest instead. So without further ado, let us take a look at the deck list. As always, if you are uninterested in the deck list and want to jump straight ahead to the matches, you may refer to the top right hand corner of the screen. This will tell you the time to skip ahead to. Also, click the card if you are interested in the Mechatoon Warlock deck I was talking about earlier. So without further ado, let us jump into the deck list. Alright, so this is the deck list that we built for our Mechatoon Priest. So uh, this uh, deck list is based off Mechatoon obviously. So Mechatoon uh, has a very strong death rattle of uh, destroy the enemy hero, which is obviously a very strong effect. But certain conditions have to be met, one of which is uh, to empty your entire deck before uh, its condition is met. In addition to that, you have to empty your entire hand as well as your battlefield. Uh, out of these three conditions, I would have to say that emptying your deck would be the hardest to accomplish uh, as I tried myself in the uh, Mechatoon Warlock. So Warlock is a class that can draw a lot of cards. However, even with that uh, card drawing mechanism, uh, Mechatoon's uh, empty deck condition is very hard to meet for a Warlock. So uh, we're trying to build a priest that allows us to empty our deck as fast as possible. So um, there's a lot of ways that this deck does it. So the first way is obviously our Northshire Cleric. We can use this with a lot of uh, healing mechanisms, such as a uh, Circle of Healing, a uh, Divine Heim. Uh, this allows us to heal not just our own minions, but enemy minions as well, so that we can draw lots and lots of cards uh, to empty our deck. The next um, thing that we use is obviously card drawing mechanisms, such as a uh, Loot Hoarder and uh, Acolyte of Pain. So this allows us to draw a lot of cards so that uh, we may empty our deck faster. In addition to that, uh, we have our good um, survival tools such as uh, Psychic Scream. It does really well against uh, aggressive decks. And obviously our Hammered Jungle Hunter is going to empty our deck uh, really really quickly. We just play it and in fact if, if it's present in our starting hand, we'll keep a 6 drop because Hammered is that good at emptying our entire deck. Uh, our combo piece would be the uh, Coffin Crasher. Reckless Experimenter as well as the Ticking Abomination. So what we'll essentially do is we'll play the Reckless Experimenter as well as followed by the Coffin Crasher and then we'll play the two Ticking Abominations. So in case uh, you miss uh, what's going on over here, we'll play the Reckless Experimenter uh, reducing the cost of our Coffin Crasher as well as our Ticking Abomination by 3. So it's actually uh, these four cards are actually a uh, 10 mana combo together. So um, Coffin Crasher would summon Mechatoon when it's dead, so uh, Reckless Experimental would cause it to die at the end of the turn. And uh, Taking Abomination would cause a 5 damage AoE on all friendly minions, killing our Mechatoon instantly after it's been summoned. So um, yeah, this causes our deck to be empty, our hand to be empty if we play the entire combo, as well as our board to be empty. So this is essentially the combo that we're talking about. So um, this is the uh, main gist of this deck list and I hope this uh, didn't take too long and it didn't bore you as much. So without further ado, let's just jump into our first match. Alright, over here we're gonna be playing some ranked matches because I'm pretty confident that this deck will do well. Uh, similar to the Mechatoon deck that we built, uh, it's actually copied off a uh, online deck list. So I'm pretty confident that it'll do at least semi-well. And plus I've tried this deck by myself and it's uh, it's a pretty decent deck I would say. Alright, our first uh, matchup is against a Warlock. The light shall bring victory. So over here, one mistake that I've initially made was that I kept low drop cards. And what I realized is that most of your deck is uh, low cost anyways. So uh, unless you're against a very aggressive deck, uh, you should keep something like a... Uh, uh, what do you call that? Um, the 1 damage AoE lifesteal. That card I didn't see just now. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, other than that, you really want uh, cards that draw you cards, such as Acolyte Pain, so you want to mulligan uh, those non-drawing cards away from your uh, starting hand. So, And obviously, if you see uh, Hammered, you obviously keep him, because uh, he really helps you to empty your deck really, really quickly. 
which is uh, what you want in this deck. So we're going to end our turn because there, there's nothing much we can do for our first turn. So against a Zoo Warlock, we might have... Uh, we, we should have uh, kept the uh, uh, AoE there, but it's fine. I thought it was something like a Mechatoon Warlock, but uh, it's very hard to predict. Actually over here, a Wild Pyromancer isn't too bad, uh, but I'll prefer if it's uh, paired with the Acolyte. Um, actually, I'll play the Wild Pyromancer now. Keep the bot clear a bit. Alright, we'll go ahead and end our turn. So next turn we'll play something like a Acolyte and Powered Shield that will deal 1 damage to all and uh, draw us a card. So yeah, the main gist of this deck is just to draw your entire deck as fast as possible. So uh, yeah, nothing really fancy over here. Let's draw your entire deck. If your opponent doesn't kill you by then, you win. The Soul Fire hits our face. Okay, really wants to kill us off. Alright, so over here we're gonna be uh, drawing a couple of cards. So first of all we heal. So that will draw us one card already. Uh, next we'll power up this guy. That will draw us another card. I'm considering whether to heal again. I think it's not a bad idea. So that will draw us another card. So as you can see we're cycling through our deck really really quickly. So we're just gonna wait for um, him to play his turn over here. The Tar Creeper, that's fine. Tar Creeper usually can't do much against us and we can silence it. Um, does he have better things to silence? I don't really think so. I think we can silence it now. Plus he'll draw us another card. Actually we should have played the second Acolyte, now that I think about it. But it's fine. We can play this I think. Then uh, probably we can play Divine Heim uh, after we drew some more cards. So we can hit this in. And we'll hit this in. Oh, Spirit Land, that's what it's called. Alright, so uh, we can heal up again. So we do draw Hammer, which is a very nice card for us to draw. Over here, we're gonna heal up our Pyromancer. A uh, reason being, uh, we don't really need uh, that much card draw after we drew hammered, because after we draw hammered, our card, our deck's gonna be like I don't know three cards. Uh, our deck's gonna be three cards essentially. It's not gonna have a lot of cards. Uh, Dreadlord, that's uh, not very good. <laughs> really want to kill off our um, our acolyte at this point. So uh, as you can see, we have four cards left. Uh, not a lot of cards. So uh, the less cards there are, the better. At this point, we really was want to uh, empty our deck and our hand. We'll just empty everything. Our board first, yeah. Over here, we still have a couple of card drawing mechanisms, our loot holders. And plus, we have uh, two psychic screams waiting for us in our deck. Uh, discuss the solarium. Oh, that's fine. Alright, we do draw the uh, Mechatoon. Uh, have we drawn all our combo pieces? 1, 2, uh, 3. Yeah, we drew all our combo pieces, which means our deck is safe to burn at this point in time. So, um, let me think about this. We can play Pyro Spirit Lash. That'll, deal, uh, that'll kill off the 6-2 over there. Uh, I think in addition, we can play uh, 1 Loot Hoarder. So, um, yeah, I think that's a pretty good thing. So we do get a Psychic Scream. So basically, uh, the Warlock's dead. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no way around it. Unless uh, we make some silly mistake. <clears throat> Alright. Um, so he actually gets a bunch of cards on the board. Uh, which we will uh, Psychic Scream. So we'll just play Psychic Scream over here. Return everything to his uh, deck. So that's gonna set him back uh, by quite a bit. Plus we have a second Psychic Scream. So I don't think uh, he's actually gonna be able to kill us. Alright, uh, so Infusion. Doubling Imp. Oh, that's actually a very scary Doubling Imp. Yeah, ho ho. It's a good thing we don't, have, don't actually have to deal with it. So we'll um, Psychic Scream again. 
Next turn, we're not gonna do much. It's probably just an acolyte, uh, heal ourselves. Yeah. Alright, loot hoarder. Was this by us? I think it might be. Actually, I'm not sure. It might, uh, have shown... Okay, so infusion. It might have shown, uh, produced by Psychic Scream or something. It's okay. We'll play this and, uh, heal ourselves. Next turn, we'll probably win. Unless somehow he fatigues us to death. It is very possible. Um, I don't know. We just have to wait and see whether we win. <laughs> but we probably do. Um, like I said again, our combo is this, this, and these two, and then we'll end our turn. Alright, Void Walker. So, we're just gonna wait for him to play a couple more cards. Bungo Mensa, alright. And Soul Taps. Alright, hits that in, that's fine. Alright, we get uh, 3 damage. I think we're gonna take 4 damage now. It's fine. Uh, we'll play our combo right here. And we play our combo and we will end our turn. So Coughing Crash is gonna die first. So we'll summon Mechatoon, followed by the 2 times 5 damage AoE, which will kill off the Warlock. Alright, so it's some pretty good stuff over here. And we leveled up and we got some gold. It's pretty good. Alright, so on to the next match. Actually for me, this might be the uh, last match of the day. I may come back on another day to finish up this recording because uh, it's a pretty late uh, for me. Plus I got school tomorrow, so... I may just end this video, uh, not end this video, but end my recording right here. So when I come back, the rankings may change. Uh, yeah. So it may be up, maybe down. I don't know, of course I'll play, uh, I'll play before I record uh, the next part of my video. So this video is actually not going to be continuous. Yeah, okay. So we got that out of the way, we do draw a psychic scream. We got a couple of card drawing mechanisms, that's fine. We have turned our curse into our strength. Alright, so it's an even shaman, that's fine. Hopefully uh, we just, as long as we don't get overrun by him, it's fine. Actually, it's true in many decks out there. Um, as long as we don't get overrun, we should be fine. So play our loot hoarder, hopefully we can clear the uh, O2 town over there. Alright, spark engine. So we're gonna coin out and uh, kill off our 2-1 looks like. That's fine. We do get uh, another um, Radiant Elemental. In this case, we'll play the Acolyte of Pain. Acolyte of Pain uh, hopefully will allow us to draw a couple more cards. Uh, menacing Nimbus, alright. Alright, Totemic Call. So uh, the O2 Thorn is actually pretty annoying over here, but uh, we'll just have to deal with it. We'll play the Radiant Elemental first. Maybe uh, heal this up a bit. Oh, we do get a second of those guys. In this case, I think we'll play a second Radiant Elemental. Doesn't look too bad. Alright, and we'll end our turn. Oh, it's actually a pretty awkward for us because we can't hit anything into uh, the Ecla Pin to draw us more cards. Earthen Might. Alright, so it looks like our Ecla Pin is going to draw us a max of two cards. Might be only one. <laughs> It's not a very ideal situation, but that's fine. Alright, Flame Tongue. Just gonna kill off some stuff over here. Alright, so our Acolyte only end up drawing just one card. Um, Over here, I think a second Acolyte wouldn't be... I mean, I, we're just looking to cycle our deck. Or draw a hammer. Or both. <laughs> yeah. The flame tongue's actually pretty scary over here. We, we might have to remove that soon. Um, we might even have to psychic scream just for the flame tongue. Ooh, wow, spellbreaker! All right, looks to be pretty bad for us at this point in time. But we just have to wait until next turn. So uh, even if we take a couple of these damage, should be fine for us, I think. 
Alright, fire elemental, so his boy is actually really really huge at this point. Uh I think uh Psychic Scream will really do his work over here. So just go ahead and psychic scream. So as you can see, Psychic Scream is actually a very powerful uh, anti go to Stone, Stone Sentinel. Alright. Over here we're actually gonna be doing uh, a bit of a bot clearing here. So we'll do this. Um, maybe we'll go with a Divine Heim first. Yeah. After which we'll do a bit of a Spirit Lash. Oh, it's actually not gonna. Oh, I thought it would persist after that. Oh no, nope, never mind. <laughs> I did not know how uh, that was how uh, Pyromancer. I thought after it died, it still could trigger off, but it didn't. So it's a misplay on my side. It's fine. Hopefully, we draw another Spirit Lash. Oh, Grumble! All right. So, um, I'm not sure whether even Shaman normally runs this. All right. So we do not draw another spirit lash, but at this point it's uh, useless. I think we may end up losing this match. <laughs> yeah. Alright, Storm Watcher. So hopefully we, we do have to draw our um, second uh, Psychic Stream real soon. Alright, so over here we'll just have to Spirit Lash and then draw a couple of cards and hopefully one of them will be um, Yes, one of them is Psychic Scream which is uh, very ideal That's for us incredible. I'm not sure if we'll overdraw or something, we might Oh wow, it's just nice, that's great So we'll Psychic Scream over here to prevent us from dying So this may end up being a comeback, <laughs> I don't know, not sure. Uh, let's not get our hopes up. <laughs> Too fast. Alright, Murmuring and Menacing Nimbus. So he's going to add two elementals to his hand instead of one. Alright, Light Spawn as well, Totemic Call. So I think silencing the Light Spawn wouldn't be too bad over here. We're actually going to be playing this first, I think. Yep. And then we'll silence off the light spawn. After which we'll actually um, see what. Not sure whether there there's two spells in our deck. Let's check. No, actually we'll power word shield first. I think that's a safer play. And then uh, we'll see what spells are left in our deck. All right, it's only divine heim, but it's a pretty good spell, I'd say. We we'll have to divine heim over here, I think. Heal us up a bit. Then uh, we'll discover another Divine Hive. Alright, three good stuff. We'll cut the board. And we're left with four cards in our deck. And we healed up quite a bit. So, um, very good play from back there. Draw a spell from a deck that costs five or more. He doesn't have it. Alright. So, uh, not gonna actually be drawing two cards over here. Or rather copying his card. Alright, Rock Elemental. So we do draw our uh, actual Divine Heim over here. Actually in this case, uh, I'll opt for... Um, hmm, I'll heal everything first, I think. It's not a bad idea. Alright, so clears a couple of stuff. Then uh, we heal again, I think. Gonna hit the board again. Uh, I think this time we'll manually heal our face. There's no need for us to use our second divine hand, we'll save that for later. Yep. Still have uh, three cards to go, one of them being hammered, which is uh, pretty useless at this point. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, hammered, hammered being one of the last cards isn't actually very useful. Ooh, uh, might be slightly painful for us to deal with. It's okay. Uh, we'll heal our face. So two cards left. Uh, we might end up st uh, losing still because of Kalimos. 
But um, yeah, hopefully we can turn uh, turn around this game. All right, so he actually makes way for his uh fire elemental, which does make sense. All right, so our last card uh would be oh it isn't actually one of our combo pieces, so we have to wait another turn. Oh no, he'll get destroyed, right? So we'll heal up our face over here. Next turn, if he can't kill us by then, we'll win. So he actually has a 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 damage on the board. Uh, 19 if we count uh, fatigue damage. Alright, Hex. So um, he actually wasted 1 damage in to deal with the frog. So um, it's, it's okay, I think. Unless he has some... Uh, oh, okay, we win. So wow, what a turnaround. At first I thought we will definitely win. Ah, sorry, definitely lose. Alright, so uh, we actually won. That's great. Didn't expect this to be a win, but it's good. Turned out well. Alright, we're actually gonna be promoted to uh, rank 17 over here because of the green streak bonus. Alright, so uh, I'm actually gonna be uh, resting for a while, I think. Uh, not gonna be continue f continuing for today. Uh, I'll come back to finish up the video maybe tomorrow, see whether I have time. Uh, but anyways, I'll be coming back soon. Alright, so we're actually back uh, from two days of not playing. So uh, we're actually going to be continuing our Mechatoon Priest today. Uh, we actually rank up from 15 to 16 from the previous uh, game. So while we were actually waiting to play or waiting to record this video, we actually rank up uh, from 15 to 16 using uh, this Mechatoon Priest over here. And it was pretty successful. Uh, did that without too many hitches. So I consider this a pretty good adapt. Alright, so we're actually going to be starting our first match of the day, or third match I'm of this video. Against a Warlock, so um... Yeah. I think we're actually going to be throwing everything away. Uh, like I said, we actually only want cards that uh, either draws cards or uh, is hammered, so... <laughs> So we actually got North Shire Cleric. North Shire Cleric is a very good starting card. So it, uh, it, I'm saying a lot of actuallys, but it allows us to draw a lot of uh, cards in the early game, which is exactly what we want. When to draw a hammer, destroy a deck, and then draw the rest of our cards, draw, draw the rest of our combo, and then proceed to win. Hopefully we can do it before the Warlock kills us off. Alright, so it's a Zoo Lock, looks like. Yeah, so... Points? Okay. Void Walker. So I'm over here, I think we're gonna... Hmm. Could Spirit Dash be the right play? Uh, I'm not very sure. I think we should just hit and heal. So we got Raiden Elemental, that's fine. Prince Kalisa. So he's gonna be actually... Having a lot of extra value from Prin Prince Kalisav since he played it uh, extremely early. We're gonna be playing Radiant Elemental, ending our turn. So hopefully we draw Hammered pretty soon. If not, uh, the value that Prince Kalisav gives to the Warlock is immense and we could lose from that uh, very easily. So Infusion, uh, it's been a very popular card lately in uh, Zulok. Because, I don't know, one mana gift plus 2 plus 2 is really good plus if we hit a doubling imp or a heals himself all right plus if we hit a uh, doubling imp or a serenite chain gang is actually gonna give you much much more value we're gonna do uh blood mage spirit lash no it doesn't sound right uh we're gonna be playing radiant first i think spirit lash can be saved for a much bigger aoe clear yeah But we do want to draw oh Serenite. That's a uh, pretty bad for us. Uh Serenite is actually very tanky now, it's for health. 
Alright, we draw our second Northshire Cleric. Um, over here we're gonna be... Hmm... Not sure what we should do here. We can stall until turn 5, I think. Um... Yeah, actually over here we're just gonna be healing up. Let's just uh, stall until turn 5. Next turn we'll play the Downo Spirit Lash. And that'll heal us up by quite a bit. Okay, uh, Fungo Mentor. So it's gonna be very aggressive here. That's fine. We'll play our uh, combo. It's gonna heal up by quite a bit. Draw our Psychic Scream. That's good as well. I'm gonna end our turn right here. Not sure whether he'll overextend. If he overextends, it's very good news for us since we're gonna Psychic Scream next turn anyways. Alright, taps. Flame him. Hopefully he plays more cards so that we can uh, Psychic Scream into more minions, giving us more value. Alright, he chooses not to do so, which is uh, understandable. Gonna Psychic Scream over here. Oh, by the way, uh, Brawlsium's here. I'm not sure whether I'll be doing a Brawlsium video. Um, if I am, I might take this deck in. So, Fungo Enchanter, alright. So, we're gonna be playing Cleric Shield, I think. Oh, it draws another Echo Light. We're actually gonna be playing all of our uh, card draw mechanisms here. We do have another Spirit Lash waiting for us. So uh, in case we need a heal or a bot clear, we can uh, turn to that. Oh, Leroy. He actually has a... Whoa! Ho, ho. Not that's bad news for us. Looks like we'll uh, retract by quite a bit during uh, our... <laughs> man. Oh, we're actually going to fall back to rank 16. No, no, 17-ish. Uh, if we keep this up. <laughs> so, uh, we're actually gonna lose one star here, that's fine. Alright, so on to the next match of the day. Uh, our fourth match of the video. Um, hopefully we can go past rank 16 a bit. Uh, in any case, I think I'm, pre I'm still pretty confident in this deck doing well. Uh, it's a really decent deck. So, yeah. As long as you draw the right combo pieces, you should be fine. Against a priest. So again, we're gonna be throwing away cards that uh, are not related to card drawing or are not hammered. So we got loot hoarder, but uh, it's only one card drawing mechanism. And it's a weak one. So not a very good starting hand, I would say. Uh, hopefully we can get hammered pretty soon. Is someone injured? North Shire, actually that's gonna be very good for him. Um Yeah. But we can actually turn that around. Assuming that he's a Mechatoon Warlock, we can actually turn it around by using something like uh circle healing to make him burn cards. Alright, Doomsayer. Very interesting play. So he's actually gonna be preventing us from drawing cards. Um not sure whether he's still a Mechatoon uh, Priest. Over here we'll take... Mm, maybe Psychic Scream. I was hoping to get a Silence or something, but uh, it's fine. Alright, he plays a Northshire followed by a Loot Hoarder. Um, over here we will play... Radiant Powered Shield. That doesn't seem too bad. So it's, uh, it's gonna draw us a couple of cards. We'll heal our face after that. So hopefully we can find some way to um, burn his hand using the Northshire Cleric uh, against him. So if we could do that, uh, that would be really good. Dead Ringer, alright. Some sort of a uh, Death Rattle Priest? I'm not very sure. Actually, quite confused now. <laughs> um, over here, I'm gonna do Shadow Visions. And um, maybe another Shield. Shield is good. Alright, another Abomination. 
Uh, if we heal this, we're actually gonna draw him a card, which is... I don't know whether we want that or not. But actually, let's hit this. And uh, let's just end our turn. Not sure whether this is a Mechatoon Priest or not. Uh, Dead Ringer does draw you Mechatoon. Oh, wow. Um, whoa. It is a Mechatoon Priest. So, um, let's do a bit of a stuff here. Let's just do this. Alright, so we're gonna... Hmm. We're gonna circle healing first, I think. So our main objective here is to burn some of his cards. Uh, after which we will... Hmm, this has a total of... Uh, not sure, 9 health? Is it? 6, 9, yeah. We're gonna heal this up. Do I have an extra card? Do this. Then we're gonna Divine Heim. So hopefully this burns him a card. Yeah, hopefully the last card is a key card. Oh no, it's not. <laughs> Well played. Alright, <laughs> we actually feel here. Oof. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> Alright, Twilight's Call. So the only way we can win now is to really just fatigue him to death. I'm not sure whether there's a way to do that. Hmm, over here I think we'll draw him a card first. Gonna, make him, uh, gonna be making him take 2 damage here. Then we'll kill this up. Alright, so he takes 3 damage. We're gonna have to find some way to burn uh, him uh, before he reaches turn 10. Oh, awaken the makers. That's very interesting. <laughs> Alright, he heals his face. So we draw a piece of our combo, but at this point I think it's pretty irrelevant. We're gonna take 4 damage. Alright, hits us in the face a couple of times. Psychic screams. Okay. Understandable. We're gonna be playing a North Shy over here. Though I think that's pretty irrelevant now. It's gonna probably win. Alright, it's gonna take 5 damage, but it probably has the combo pieces already. Uh, that's the 5 card combo, I think. He's gonna heal up his face, alright. Hmm, actually, we could uh, dilute his deck. So we're actually gonna be doing that to delay him. So, uh... If not, he will actually have uh, cards to play here. Yeah. So lesser heal. He will be playing the North Shire Cleric. So in this case, we will play this. Uh, next turn, if we don't do anything, he will in fact draw his last card. So we're going to have to Psychic Scream once again. Oh, this is not good for us. <laughs> Alright, he heals himself up. Eclat of Pain. Oh, we draw our own hammer. But there are two hammers in our deck now, so... Yeah. <laughs> Almost out of cards. I'm out of cards. Alright. So not sure whether there'll be any way to burn his cards. I mean burn him. Uh, in this case, we'll heal up, heal ourselves first. So he draws an additional card. Gonna take 6 damage. Gonna be making him draw an additional card. So it takes uh, 7 damage. Oh, we 1 damage off, I think. That's a pity. Uh, whoa, that's really a pity. I'm gonna end our turn. That's so close. So I'm presuming is. Yep. Aww, we missed out by 1 damage. That's pretty sad. <laughs> Alright, we got countered. 
I mean, we met a mirror matchup and we lost, so yeah. <laughs> I'm right, gonna be dropping back to rank 17, but that's fine. Alright, moving on to the next match. Well, this is the last match of the day, but actually if we left the Echo of Pain, would we have won? Cause, uh, no, we wouldn't have won, cause he would just have hit. Cause I was thinking uh, maybe he will uh, just leave the Echo on the board. After that, he will... Um, yeah, after he'll play his combo and then uh, the taking a bombation triggers twice and then maybe he draws two cards. But now that I think about it, he might actually uh, yeah, he might actually draw. I mean, he'll hit the acolyte into a helmet, so it doesn't matter. So he draw and cut anyway. So yeah, it's a bit sad. Uh, oh, whoops, forgot to throw away the radiant elemental there. But it's a bit sad that we didn't win that game. <laughs> uh, yeah, we also want, we were one damage off. Uh, it's a bit sad. <laughs> Oh, at least we do draw hammer in our starting hand this turn, this time. So if you were to draw hammer uh, within the first six turns, you basically win. Yeah, if you play hammer on curve, you basically win. So that's, I guess that's one advantage of this deck. <coughs> Alright, we play our loot hoarder. Gonna wait for his response. Probably he will ping the loot hoarder off. Primordial Glyph, alright. So I'm not sure what kind of a mage deck this is, might be a big mage, uh, big spell mage, but big spell mage doesn't run Primordial Glyph I think, if I'm not wrong. Uh, I'm not. Re I'm really not sure. <laughs> Actually I've been out of the standard meta since uh, the last expansion. I'm more of a WoW player, I like playing WoW. But now that Cartoon has uh tran I mean there's a version of Cartoon in standard, that's why I'm switching over to standard. Yeah. Actually I might try his uh, version of uh Mechatoon. Sounds seems more interesting. He puts in Dead Ringer to draw a Mechatoon. Uh may try that and for some reason he runs Awaken the Makers. Yeah. So I guess in case he doesn't uh draw hammer, he still has a reliable heal for himself. And he runs a uh, Twilight's Call, which resummons his uh, Death Rattle minions that draws him cards. So he resummons a uh, Dead Ringer, he resummons um, Loot Hoarder. So it's a very interesting variant of the, the deck, I guess. I may try that out. Alright, we draw one piece of our combo the uh, Coffin Pressure. Alright, Water Elemental. It's actually gonna be quite a bit of a problem over here for us. It's fine, we'll... Hmm. Should we draw a card? I think we don't really need to draw a card. Yeah, I think it's better if we wait until uh, Hammered is used, then we draw a card. Because uh, the cards drawn will be much more valuable than the cards drawn now. Yeah. But anyway, I think he's gonna ping it, so it doesn't really matter. But just in case he won't ping it, uh, we can draw a card after we use hammer. Uh, that way, our, the cards we draw in is from we'll, the cards that we draw is from a smaller pool, so the cards will be of a higher quality. Since uh, we need those cards, if we were to draw a card right now, um, we may draw a useless card like Silence, uh, the zero mana Silence. So yeah. Gonna uh, be waiting for him for a while to uh, make his play. He's, I think he's considering whether to hit in the town nose or not. Not very sure. Alright, so he will hit the town nose using the water elemental, which is a very interesting choice. Shroom Brewer. Alright. We're actually gonna be playing our hammer right here. Three cards left. Okay, so maybe we don't really want um, town nose to draw after that because we only have three cards left. Yeah. We're gonna use Shadow Visions when we have no cards left in our deck because we don't want to discover a 7 cost uh, card uh, from our deck. Uh, because this will actually uh, this will lengthen uh, the amount of time we, we, we need to play our combo since you need to fit in a 7 cost card uh, in the middle. So these are some cons considerations you need to take note of when you are playing uh, Cartoon Priest. Mechatoon Priest. 
So against another Mechatoon Priest as seen just now, you're either trying to burn the and uh Mechatoon, the opponent Mechatoon Priest, or you're trying to uh fatigue him to death. As as what I was desperately trying to do just now, but it didn't work. Um, <laughs> yeah, as six one boost. All right. It's gonna be uh clearing hammered up, I think. So it's good that he doesn't actually hit our face. Because the only thing we can die to pretty much at this point is uh, to aggro. Yeah. We're gonna um, hit this in first. Hmm, actually, Spirit Dash wouldn't be too bad, I think. Oh no! Oh, we can't play uh, Psychic Scream now. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I guess we can do something like this. Oh, that was a misplay on our side. Because I thought uh, we could burn one more card using uh, Spirit Lash, but then that killed off the Radiant Elemental. Yeah, not a good, not a good play. <laughs> but it's fine. I think we still can live until turn ten. <laughs> All right, we're actually gonna be waiting for the Mage until she rope burns and burns a rope. Um, Cosmic Anomaly, okay. And then uh, uses Frostbolt to clear our hammer. If I were the mage, I would just go for the face because, um, because psychic scream exists. Your bot literally doesn't matter. I'm gonna use uh, circle of healing here. So next turn we'll psychic scream again, uh, followed by uh, shadow visions that should uh burn all of our users cards off. Our last card would be the last ticking abomination. So I guess in the end, uh, we didn't really it didn't really matter whether we we misplayed the uh, psychic stream back there so uh, it turned out well I think as long as we were able to live for another two turns we should be fine you require my alright Archmage Antonidas Arcane Missiles we're gonna have quite a lot of bursts next turn gonna have a uh, 12 damage of a burst next turn so uh, as long as he doesn't have eight more burst damage we should be fine I mean fire double fireball already takes up uh, eight mana so yeah oh wow okay okay actually it's not that bad <laughs> not, as, not as bad as it looks <laughs> I thought it's gonna combo into something but we won My beautiful creation. all right so um 60% win rate in this video, but in real life it's really more successful. So uh, you don't have to worry about crafting this deck, it's actually really really good. Yeah, even though over here it looks like a 60% win rate. Gonna jump back a bit on the uh, ladder. Huh, actually we have 140 gold, I might save up for an arena run. But anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for staying to the end of the video, and I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this has been Mechatoon Priest, and uh, yeah, thanks for staying to the end of the video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care and goodbye.